Hello everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hero, we're back with more Broken Age. When we last left our heroine, we made our way into the uh, heart of the Basinostra, talked to the wolf, a parrot, he claims that um, the maidens that they were snatching up are being rescued by some sort of, no, rescued from some sort of plague, but I haven't heard anything about that. Um, we also now know that we have to get into where the Overmom is, uh, holed up. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Well, actually, I know exactly how to do that. We need to use Shay's, um, dummy Shay. Hmm, this door is locked. I wonder what they keep in here. Maidens. Looks like some sort of animal sleeps here. But anyway, the dummy is um, under. It's like a museum in here yeah. after a tornado. <laughs> Wonder is... if I can learn something about that kid in here. Yes, underneath, uh, pinned underneath a piece of uh, bulkhead. Looks like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Hmm. Splarg? Shay Volta, best actor. Volta. Purple huh? Boots, the musical. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy, thanks for the shoes. Aww, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. <laughs> but next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks, Shay. <laughs> Sheesh, demanding. Seems pretty polite. It says, safety award, footwear category. What's with all the shoes? It's a painting of what looks like a red boot what was i'll bet someone was trying to knit socks and they ended up too long <laughs> and so snake so apparently one of um one of shay's early yarn pals was a snake oh this is the hint we need for uh the uh other snake i get it huh i see seven I have a feeling that's important. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. More like post-shadowing. Shay's first space boots, age five. Hmm. Safety award, aquatics category. Safety awards. There's something with boots here. I wonder here. if he lost his first teeth by licking a moving beater, like I did. <laughs> Jewish incisors eight and nine. Huh. Okay. I'm not seeing anything important in here so far. Well, there was that hint, but I already figured that out on my own. Uh, hello? Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh. Gosh. It's been so long since anyone asked. Wow. Let me look it up. It's Melanie. Melanie, oh. huh? Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. Let's see. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place <laughs> you do. What? You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? <laughs> Surprise! I'm a teleporter. Now, you tell me a secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? Oh. And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. You made my head bigger. <laughs> Sweetie, it's temporary. Okay. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. So it's the opposite of how it was before. Uh, 
that'll take me to the starboard well, thing. You know, she hasn't said much since the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. She's just being a drama queen so she'll get special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine! Nadine, huh? Okay, so that one's not working, but I can go through the... Who wants um, to go to the starboard passageway? Let's see if this works. Get the head big. Miss you already. Ah. Oh. There's my old head again. Hmm. Are you sure? It still looks a little big to me. Yes, this is all brains. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Here's, here's the trash dispenser. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. Hmm. He's a pain, but I don't want to throw him away. Yet. Thanks. You'll need a kid. <laughs> okay. Um. I can also. I think the only place on the ship I haven't visited yet, aside from the, um... Yeah, what is this? Better put this back to cover my tracks. Huh. I don't want to cut that. Hmm. I have a feeling I have to chase... I'm going to have to chase down, uh, Mom. And that'll trip her up. Okay. Can we go in here? Haven't been in here Locked. yet. Locked. Maybe if for I years. could find the brains of this operation, I could open all these doors. Hmm. These big surveillance screens don't seem to be working. That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Better leave it unlocked. I thought this led to the uh, nav room. No, there was a way to the nav room from, uh, what you call it? Wait a minute. If my head gets bigger and my voice gets deeper, yeah, it probably still wouldn't work. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to get the, uh, dummy. Sorry for our noisy roommates in the background. Oh, hey. Looks like people have been scratching to get out. Can human fingernails make marks like that in solid tile? Hey, <laughs> well, Mel. Hey, Mel. Things are getting Close noisy. Your eyes and don't look down. Hello in there. It's me, Shay. You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. <laughs> but still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just... I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Oh, boy. Um, sure. All right. First question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Uh... Mr... Go on. Puggy. Is that your answer? Yes. Mr. Puggy, I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered <laughs> Mr. Huggy. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What was that? Nothing. I see. Now, <laughs> I have another question for you. Of okay. all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? Uh... Snuggle Loaf? Grumpy Buns? I don't remember Puddle that. Biscuit. What? I never called you that. Oh, Whoever me. Pet names. But... Aww. Please. Can we not do this? That's, that's exactly what you used to say all the time. <laughs> you hated my nicknames. I mean, Shay, 
did. Now, just one more question for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. I so, don't think you remember please that. tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Color, size, and pattern. Um... Hmm. Red. And the size? Very first space boots. I don't remember. Let's go. Size six. And the pattern. Oh. Skulls. Oh. Okay. Oh, I really thought it was you, Shay. Okay, easy enough. We can go back to the um the, uh, what is it called? The Hall of Heroes? These big surveillance screens don't seem to be working. <laughs> We've just gone by Merrick like three times. And our head gets e bigger each time. That must be kind of weird. Okay, so, first space boots. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy. Thanks for the shoes. Aw, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks, Shay. Shay's first space boots, age five. Cute, but I wish they weren't bronzed. I can't tell what color they are. Hmm. Wait a minute. Looks like a note. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy. Thanks for the shoes. Aw. The red striped ones were cool. No. And so were the green ones with skulls. I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird Blue childhood. Boots? <coughs> that is the happiest Seven. snake attack victim I've ever seen. But those can't have been his first um, snake boot. Uh, snake boots. <laughs> his first space boots. Because they have skulls. Hmm. Wait, what age is this? Hmm. Doesn't look like he's going to grow up to be a kidnapper. <laughs> ah, missing deciduous incisors. Age if he lost his first six. by licking a moving Age six. So at six he had Finally, these people had size seven monster boots. spaceship technology before they perfected color photography. <laughs> okay. So how do I put all this together? So they had Shay's dots. First space boots. Let's say size six, blue, and polka dots. See if that works. <laughs> Just leave Merrick there. I mean, I'm sure he's not in pain or anything. Sarcasm, by the way. Hi, okay. It's me, Shay. What was that last question again? I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday. Ninth he birthday. Insisted yeah. on machine -made boots from the oh, Care. that's irrelevant As information. As surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So, please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Okay. Let's say blue. blue. And the size? Uh, six. Size six. And the pattern? Polka dots. Polka dot. Oh. Ah, dang it. Oh, I really thought it was you, Shay. Leave me alone, whoever you are. I think I need to do some more research. No 
Okay, that does it. I need to make a chart to keep these clues straight. I'll just take some of this paper and one of these crayons here. And voila! Well, part oh, one's done. Lovely. Now I just have to fill it in. <laughs> All the doodling. Snake photo, fireman drawing, teeth in jar, bronze boots, medical report. Okay. So I'll bet someone was trying to knit socks and they ended yeah. up too long. So when he lost his deciduous incisors, wait. Those incisors? I wonder if he lost his so, yeah. first teeth by licking a moving beater Eight and like nine. I did. I should know this class. I took mammal, uh, the mammal class last semester. But okay, so when he was six, he had size seven Apparently, skull boots. These people had giant monster speed. Okay, where's my chart? No, there. I think I have all the clues I need. I just have to put them together to fill out this chart. So at age six. He was size seven skulls. Skulls. What? I think I have all the clues I need. I just have to put them together to fill out this chart. I can't mark this? Eh. I think I have all the clues I yes, need. Yes, yes, yes. So we know it's polka dots. Hmm. No, it's not blue, because blue, from that picture, is age eight. And we know that he was age six when he wore size seven shoes. Hmm. Snake photo, fireman drawing, teeth in jar, bronze boots, medical report. Looks like a no, written by no. a... Medical report, Looks huh? like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, five this year years. has been marked by a remarkable ah, age six. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three, three shoe sizes. sizes. Splark therapy appears to be working. Splark? Okay, so... If he gained three shoe sizes by age um, age six, that means his shoe size was uh, five, right? Five to six, six to seven. No, that would be seven to eight. That would be gaining three. Five to six, six to seven. Yeah, so size four, actually. So he had size four shoes. They had polka dots. What color were they? Hi, it's me, Shay. Purple. And the size? Size four. And the pattern? Polka dot. There we go. <laughs> Just had to brute force it. it you. No, it's not. <gasps> You're not a computer. You're not Shay. Nice neckline. You're really skinny. And now the door is closed again. Oh. Who are you? What have you done to our ship? There's Where's that my son? Portrait. Who are you? And why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? Really? You can't put the pieces together? My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. <laughs> you need some help. You are not in space. 
Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> Marakai, what are you doing here? Marakai. I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret mm -hmm. from you and your family. But how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. <clears throat> the Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native, as some of your predecessors did. Really? We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself. But he is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. Oh, lovely. Now, while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax. And know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. Hmm. Captain! Up here! I'm a weapon! A weapon, huh? Uh... Hey, look! A oh. fork! I'd have a full set if I could just find the... Oh, I wouldn't bring up the S-P-O-O-N if I were you. <gasps> Tiny here broke his heart, so he volunteered for a suicide mission. <laughs> you shut your mouth, Dutch! Hey, don't worry. I won't tell him who you dumped him for. Yikes. Wow, cutlery on the ship is weird. But I'm at 34 minutes, and I don't know how much of this I can cut out, so I think it's time to end the episode here. If you enjoyed, and I think I did, um, please leave uh, consider leaving a like, subscribing, or commenting, and if you didn't, please let me know why. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!